Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about systematic review in clinical research. More after the intro. Systematic reviews are an important tool in the field of clinical research, allowing researchers to evaluate the quality and relevance of different studies, identify gaps in the evidence, and draw conclusions about the effectiveness of treatments or interventions. In this video, we will discuss what a systematic review is, how medical writers can approach them, and the challenges and strategies used for conducting systematic reviews in clinical trials. We start with a definition of systematic review in clinical trials. A systematic review is a type of research that uses evidence-based clinical trials to evaluate a question or hypothesis. It is a type of meta-analysis that evaluates multiple studies and combines their results to provide a comprehensive answer to the question. Systematic reviews allow researchers to assess the quality and relevance of research evidence identify gaps in the evidence, and draw conclusions about the effectiveness of treatments or interventions. Systematic reviews are typically used for clinical trials involving drugs, medical devices, or diagnostic tests. They can also be used to assess the effectiveness of non-pharmacological interventions, such as nutrition or lifestyle modifications. Examples of systematic reviews include studies on the effectiveness of statins for reducing cholesterol levels, the safety of various vaccines, and the benefits of physical activity for certain medical conditions. But how to approach a systematic review in clinical trials? When conducting a systematic review, Medical writers should begin by asking a focused question with specific criteria and collecting relevant studies that fit that criteria. They should then assess the quality and relevance of the evidence and use statistical methods to combine the results from each individual study. Medical writers should ensure that the studies included in their systematic review are of high quality and relevant to the question being asked. They should also be aware of any potential biases, such as publication bias, that may affect the results. Sources for systematic reviews include peer-reviewed journals, published clinical trials and databases such as PubMed, Embase, and Cochrane Library. What are the challenges and strategies for conducting systematic reviews in clinical trials? One challenge with systematic reviews is that they require a large amount of data to be collected and analyzed. This can be time-consuming and expensive to reduce costs and time associated with systematic reviews. Researchers can use existing data sources such as published clinical trials or data from government databases. They can also use techniques such as meta-regression to improve the accuracy of their results. Systematic reviews are an important tool in the field of clinical research, allowing researchers to evaluate the quality and relevance of different studies, identify gaps in the evidence, and draw conclusions about the effectiveness of treatments or interventions. Medical writers should approach systematic reviews with knowledge of potential biases and access to relevant data sources. Furthermore, they should be aware of the challenges associated with conducting systematic reviews in clinical trials and use strategies to reduce costs and improve accuracy. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.